Hello there, wrestling fans, and welcome to episode 92 and the end of British Wrestler Week to the internationally known Dudes at Ringside podcast. I am your host, Joe the Panther III, and now introducing my co-host for this fun trip around the world through the solar system on top of Metal Mountain on, and by his satellite. It's a happy heel himself, the Metal Geek. What's going on, Ringside Crew? What's going on, internationally? No, what's going on, everybody? What's going on? Um, not no. too much. It's sad. It's the end of British Wrestler Week, but let's. Is our guest back in her seat? Mm-hmm. Well, uh, let's end British Wrestler Week with a big, 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 big fun thing. Let's give a war. Dudes at ringside, welcome to CPW's own Shorty. Hey! What's going on? <laughs> welcome to the show, Shorty. Welcome. Thanks for having me. No problem. It's an honor because you're you're the, the, the end of British Wrestling Wrestlers Week, and you're the third, you're our third female wrestler from CPW. And it's an honor. Yeah. And once again, we're going to say this, this episode is brought, it's not brought to you by, but this episode goes out to CPW because this is our way of saying thanks and the love that you guys have sent us from in America. You guys, hey, thank you, Will. Hello, Will. William. Um, You guys showed, showed us the love. You guys opened the doors for us and like come the and... UK, the UK market, so... Yeah, yeah. so... Shorty, who trained you in the ring? Uh, so I'm trained by Will Starr and also Nathan, who has been Nate Lewis, uh, Fifi, and Cleo, and mm-hmm. Russell Hardwood. Awesome. <laughs> All the same person. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All the same person. That's awesome. <laughs> um, many many yeah. gimmicks. Many gimmicks, yeah. Um, what was your first match in, like, in front of a crowd? Ooh, very scary. <laughs> mm. um, so I took part in the CPW Superstars Project, um, which I couldn't recommend any more to anyone in the, in the UK, in England, that wants like a fast track thing of becoming a wrestler. It's our own like um, training schedule, training program. So we train for 10, 10 to 12 weeks. And then at the end of that, we get our like debut show in front of friends and family. Um, and my first, my debut show was, well, training debut, trainee debut was a triple threat match. Um, it was very scary, but the that adrenaline and going out and having fans chant your name and, Support you is just so addictive that I had to carry on, <laughs> basically. Awesome, awesome. So, like, who are some of your like? <clears throat> who are some of like your inspirations in the ring? Um. So I had a lot of. Uh, well, I, obviously, I used to watch. Um, well, I do watch uh, WWE, and have done basically all my life um i used to love uh i remember watching um total divas when i was like 12 uh and seeing like the behind the scenes kind of thing and i was so into it and being like oh my god like i i i want to do that <laughs> like how how do i do that that looks so cool but um back then i i remember googling and i couldn't find anything anything or any other promotion other than like nxt and i was like well i ain't getting there at 12 years old let's be honest Mm. um but yeah so i used i loved uh nikki bella back when she was champion and i found her so inspirational um obviously Paige having made making it all the way from england to the big shows um but then I'm, i'm also inspired a lot by the uh, UK indie wrestlers um, when I started and I found loads of inspiration through them. I am Kat Von Cage, uh, Chantal Jordan, Alfie Rogue, um, and then getting to meet them and be in matches with them. And yeah, it's 
just like a dream come true. It's funny. Another wrestler that is, I'm surprised she's not in the chat today, but another wrestler that's come through also, but we haven't really marked a date with her yet, but it'd be so cool to have another one too. Natalie Wilde. Yes. Yes. Natalie's awesome. Yeah, she is definitely awesome. <laughs> She's another yeah. wrestler that like we look forward to working with because I wish we could have extended British Wrestle Week to another week. But next year yeah. we're going to work on maybe doing if we could get it in our calendar and plus size me and Geek have real jobs. And plan it out better. And plan it out better. <laughs> do like a month of British yeah. like a British month. British wrestler month. Oh and, like, yeah. Awesome. And we could maybe if we talk to Nathan in November. We could try to do a, a CPW month. Yeah. Like, uh, and we could get like the wrestlers from CPW and uh, yeah. focus not on just them. the female, the male wrestlers too. Because Geek's like, yeah. oh, the, the male ones. I'm like, they don't, the, the female wrestlers talk to us so much faster than the men. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. A bit more uh, social media based. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. More talkative. We we want to speak to more of the the men from CPW, like but they don't really. And I never get like, I found out about you and Alfie and Natalie through fluke by like likes on the page of you or yeah, Alfie and or Kiara. Once again, Kiara, if you're listening to this in your house or in your car driving, thank you, boo boo, for buying. Love you, Kiara. Love you, Kiara. Thank you for. Thank you Connecting so much. With Shorty with Alfie with Nat with Nathan with Natalie Wilde. You really opened the you didn't just open the door for the British wrestlers. You kicked that door open. It's just hanging on the hinges. And I hope it expands even further with Shorty now that the wall goes down and even more British wrestlers want to come in and hang out with us. Because uh -huh. for us as Americans, a year ago I told Geek, did you imagine a year ago we would have friends in England? And he's yeah. like, no. Which is all. the same here. Um, you know, as I said, like, a year ago, I wouldn't have thought I would be on an American podcast. So here we are. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. It's being seen by an American audience now. <laughs> there oh, you yeah. Go. Yeah. yeah. So if our, I, we usually do it in the beginning, but we're so, we, we, we were so friends before we had you on the podcast. So how we usually open up podcast is, if our American fans are not familiar with you, Shorty, introduce yourself. Hmm. Well, hi, I'm Shorty. I live in Coventry, England. Uh, I wrestle for a promotion called Coventry Pro Wrestling. I've been wrestling for just over two years. I'm still a baby. <laughs> I am also a musician. I rap, sing, songwrite, and I'm also a graphic designer. Hmm. Awesome. It's so funny. We usually start off with that that we like. Who is the one wrestler in CPW that loved being in the ring with? Oh, hi, Stuart. Stuart broke kayfabe, geek. Did you see? <laughs> yeah. I I did. <laughs> Ooh, um, I would have to say my uh, feud with Cat Von Cage was life-changing and career-changing for me um i learned so much we went to war for that belt and uh yeah um i loved my match i loved my match with alfie i would love to have more matches with her in future um my match with chantal jordan for the title um was awesome and then uh emma cross who i fought last night um yeah we yeah there's a lot of inspirational women that i've had the pleasure to step in that ring with and so that's a hard question it, so, it was funny because the one you wrestled last night that's why i said is that the one that does the stiff kicks i can't remember because oh, yeah. yeah she if you watched i looked her name up and i was like "Ooh, ah man Shorty must have some black and blues on her today because the kicks that she does are like <laughs> karate kicks. <laughs> so, so okay. yeah, I, I'm very tired today. I mean, the match last week, I was still recovering from that and then had to have the match last night. So I'm a bit broken today. 
but here we are. <laughs> here we are, exactly. You know? yeah. But uh, I, I don't know if you um, ever wrestled a man before, but what's your opinion on intergender wrestling? Um, I, I haven't. That's not something that we do at CPW. Um, so I haven't experienced that. And um, it's not really something I've thought about, I guess, because I've only been like at CPW, so um, I haven't had to. Uh, so I'm not really sure. <laughs> not, not, not really sure. Okay. Yeah. So out of all the, like, I, we already talked about like, the, the, your favorite person in the ring. So, like, have you ever thought of coming over to America and branching over to the indie promotions on the in the States? I mean, that would be awesome. Um, I think, I like, this soon into my career, it's not something I'm like, oh, yeah, I can do that now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I would absolutely, yeah, I would definitely love to do that in the future absolutely that'd be like, cool I, I know we, we just talked about it but what, what's the one uh, place you would love to visit besides america japan japan mm. okay that's every wrestler's dream right there is to go to yeah japan. see um not even just for wrestling like i i've always wanted to go to japan anyway like like dream holiday but obviously while i was there i'd want to go and watch new japan but um, yeah, so it kind of just ties everything into one for me. Like I want to go and experience the country and the culture, and then also the wrestling. So yeah, yeah that would be awesome. I'm a huge New Japan fan, by the way. So t- before we started the show, like dudes at ringside, I used to have like a show called Leg, Leg Drop Lunch Hour, which I would break down like the G1 oh, okay. and all that stuff. So yeah. You could still find that on on some parts of the internet. It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> I, I he says it and he shares our show on that page on Facebook and I just go <laughs> it's like saying someone's real name it's like like you're saying you're, like, like you're saying pick yeah, up. you have to insult my past show Joe that's not cool, it's like man. Spider-Man we it's all like have saying, a past it's fine <laughs> it's saying Spider-Man's real name it's like it's like saying Peter Parker <laughs> I'm like is that me <laughs> is that me so yeah, um, so you also rap. Do you have any um albums or songs you want to talk about? Um, so I don't have an album um yet. I am working on a solo album and also a um like joint project with Pest, who I make I've made all of my songs with so far. Um but yeah, we have quite a few songs, music videos. Uh, we're on Spotify, uh, Apple Music, and YouTube. There are music videos on YouTube. If you search Pest featuring Shorty, they're all on there. Some are a bit singy, poppy. Some are a bit rappy, sweary. <laughs> a little bit mixture of it all. <laughs> yeah, I was listening to one of them, and I was like, as we were talking on the Instagram FaceTime, I call it Instagram FaceTime, InstaFace, as they call it. And I was like, <laughs> works. <laughs> dance into it it's like perfect song you could work out to like totally do like a full rep on the treadmill or be like do a weight set with that song i, I think it's called uncensored is it unstoppable unstoppable yeah that song unstoppable yeah, yeah. um i get ready to that song a lot it kind of it's like it's a bit of a power song like yeah and i rap along to it and yeah it amps me up <laughs> your, your whole rap in that song i was just like yeah, I'm gonna get along with her. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we don't swear in our other songs. Like our other songs are a bit more mainstream, um, mm. and like singy. I've been so I started as rap, like as I started off rapping when I was 13, um, and I was signed to a small uh, Coventry record label, and. Um, we got to do a lot of cool stuff and then I carried on basically uh, making rap songs. And it's only been recently that I've like the past couple of years that I've experimented more with my singing. Um, so then I really got into that. So a lot of the songs are more singy lately and then we don't swear on them because we like them to try and get played on radio. Mm. But um, <laughs> then we were like, can we just do like a freestyle rap where we just, 
rap, pure rap, like no chorus, let's just rap. And yeah, so every other word is a swear word. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, <laughs> yeah. Who was, I mean, so inspirations for rap. But yeah, like, you're, yeah. You're, like that, you made you want to say, I, I want to do this and I want to do a song like this, you know? Um, so I'm going to be really cliche and say, like, I, I, growing up, I loved uh, Eminem. NWA, Dr. Dre, Snoop, like I, yeah, my dad, me and my dad would just bop to like old school hip hop when I was a kid and all of that. Um, and then, uh, then we had like the grime scene in the UK. Um, and that's kind of where all like you, that's kind of where I started. Um, just being this little like chubby 13 year old, like, yeah, I can rap. <laughs> But then uh, I went to more like hip hop and poppy stuff. Um, and uh, nowadays I really, I love Logic. So the inspiration for the Unstoppable is like Logic, Joyner Lucas, like pure rap freestyle kind of songs. Um, so I've been really in into that kind of vibe lately. Awesome. That's awesome. Do you record you your own entry? Yes. So um, the song that I currently use as my entrance song, which is like, little shorty's going to get ya. Yeah. Um, I actually recorded that when I was about uh, 17, 18. Um, so when I started wrestling, I um, I always had in my head, I wanted to like make my own entrance song because I'm, mu- I'm a musician, I might as well. But um, it come around so fast and... I just didn't really, I didn't have the time to. And then I went through all of my old songs and I was like, oh, well, this would kind of work. And I was, it's such an old song, but it works. And now it's just stuck mm. through my career. <laughs> I was going to ask, like, because I was going to use that song instead of this, the song I used for the preview video when you, when you decided to come on the podcast. I was yeah. like, when are her theme songs actually on the Instagram Instagram music. And no, like, it's not. <laughs> um, <laughs> like I said, like I made I made that song so long ago, like um, or oh, about not like, not eight years ago. Mm. Um, and uh, yeah, it's not. It used to be online, but it's not anymore. I kind of I as I grew up, I like was like, oh well, I want to make different music to that, and it, I was so young then, and whatever. So I took it offline, and then it just when I started wrestling, I was like, okay, well, I'm going to use it, but it's still not online anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> so <Here's> another one. <laughs> what inspires you to write music? Oh, okay. Um, like like life experiences. Um, we I like I've made. So there, uh, there's a lot of songs that I've made that are like love songs and you just sort of go back in time to how you felt in that moment and um, write like from experience and from feelings. I always find um, I write my best or favourite songs when they're from like um, actual feelings and I'm able to then sort of put them into words and they sort of translate and end up being my more like powerful songs because they're raw and real um unstoppable i'm just talking shit and be- oh <laughs> yeah you, you gotta watch i have to send you a link to that video i was just like <laughs> yeah there's a lot of this in that video <laughs> yeah we have to find a way to make that a, a give on the uh on you know you always uh you get to pick a give you have to have just yeah. sort of <laughs> and lots kidding. of middle fingers we'll blow oh, them out not the middle finger one we could put do that ringside logo over the middle fingers <laughs> Blur it. Fine. Yeah. as long as we don't get kicked off of uh twitch or facebook or anything like that yeah that's know? the thing right. like i as i told shorty like we were when we were on the insta face <laughs> i was like i wish that her and pest is pest right pest yeah can make our theme song, but it probably would have cost us to them to do that. But that would be so cool to have a real theme song done by an artist. <laughs> yeah. Could we just do that time thing? That that time clock thing you saw on the screen? Yeah. That's our main intro. The intro. Dun, dun, yeah. Dun, dun. yeah. Uh-huh. 
Here we go. So, um, so, so if you could, uh, so if you could make a choice to perform at Download or perform at WrestleMania, which one would it be? <laughs> yeah. Why are you got to ruin my night like that? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Um, what if I performed at WrestleMania, but and performed my own entrance song? There we go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that, yeah, it's kind of like we can put both into one. It's fine. He is he is the geek of the podcast. He is the heel of the podcast. So like he has to oh, pull heel. Got a lot of questions that really hurt. <laughs> air, air hugs, shorty. Just just ignore ignore the jerk. Oh. And just, I'll, 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 I always jokingly told him that I'm gonna do the Shawn Michaels to him like he did to Marty Jannetty. I'm gonna throw him to the barbershop window. <laughs> Oh God. <laughs> don't don't forget don't forget jo joe's the heel in disguise of the show it's like it was joe the whole time <laughs> but i i can't be the heel because i'm so friendly with all because he's geek always gets mad at me because i'm always talking to the female wrestlers but i said they get back to you so much faster and they we he gets mad that i speak to them so much but I, then i say we're building a relationship with these people we yeah, don't know we're becoming buddies, like friends. And as I said, I just hope by us, when we're done with this interview, you continue to speak to us. And it's not like, okay, I'm done talking to these people. And oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not, no. I get so worried because some of them we speak to, and then after the interview, right, Geek? We never hear back from them ever again. It's just like uh -huh. their door closes, and they, go, we, we get, they send us back to the... Um, there's the prime, and then there's the other one that you never see. Not the request, request the other box. Oh, the request box. Message requests. Right. Yeah, yeah, you get tossed back into that other side of the messages. <laughs> so here we go. We're going to go fun. Oh, here we go. Before the fun questions, what what would you say your finishing move was? Uh, so I use the X Factor. Uh, so I don't know if there's a lot of different names for it. Mm. Um, it's like the front, front sit down, face buster. Yeah, yeah, I've I've seen that one. That one, yeah. So that's been my, but um, I call it the short stop. <laughs> short stop. So short that, stop. yeah, that's creative, very creative. Yeah, so that has uh been my finisher for. Oh, Erica, that's a good question. That's a good question, Hot Shot. If you could, if you could wrestle one from the past or present, who would it be and why? Ooh. Oh, that's really tough. Ooh, got her. Hmm. Um, well, now I've got to actually think. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, Trish Stratus. Ooh, that'd be a good match because Trish is not that tall, right, Geek? Yeah, it would be a good match. Yeah, actually. That's one of yeah. my favorites too. It's from the past too. Yeah, I so think that would, be, that would be a good match, actually. Geek's upset. Geek was in love with Trish, and it was by me and me. Oh, what we all? <laughs> I was Lita. I would. I loved Lita. Me and Lita. Me and me and oh, you love Lita. I love Lita yeah. too. Mm. Yeah. We would fight over yeah. and Lita all the time, like uh, Lita <laughs> and Trish. We were like when they would fight. Me and Geek would argue on the couch in college. If you could imagine that me and Geek fighting over two girls we're never going to get with or hang out with or date, date in college. She's going to win. No, she's going to win. Stop it. Ah, <laughs> fuck. And then I saw, I used to, Geek knows, he could, he'll tell you, I used to storm out pissed in, and when Lita would lose every time <laughs> or Rey Mysterio would lose. That's another one that that uh, is one of my inspirations because I'm little and Rey Mysterio is like one of my favorite little guys. Like in the ring, like, yeah. Rey Mysterio can come out, and I would pop so hard. Oh but yeah! It wasn't even his new theme, his original theme. That dun 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 dun. dun I'd be like, yes. When he debuted the first preview of Rey Mysterio in WWEF, whatever it was at the time, that. And his, the, his logo appeared with the birds. I was I like, I know, I know what you're talking about. I think I was sitting next to you when the first preview 
video popped on SmackDown, I popped so hard. I was like, oh, he's coming. I was like, oh, oh <laughs> Rey Mysterio's coming to WWE. I like froze. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> that was the moment that Joe realized his life, his life meant a new level. Then coming doing our podcast went up to another level. Another level. So another level. Yeah, another level. <laughs> Uh, do you do you uh do you collect anything? Uh, not um uh, no not not in particular. No. Socks and pajamas do they come? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have a friend that has crazy socks. I actually have a few. I have to put them all together. I have a pair of Ghostbusters ones with just the guys' faces. Oh, okay. I have one with Slimer on each foot. I have one with the logo. It says, who are you going to call? I have one with State Puff Marshmallow Man on it. It's pretty funny. Like this, It's the short socks, the ones that only past your ankle. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I like those. They're funny. Geek, your turn. It can't be just the Shorty Joe show. Yeah, what do you collect? <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> yeah, uh, what do I collect? Um, I, have, I have pop vinyls, too, but i got to stop because if I do, they're going to take over my whole apartment. So... <laughs> yeah, I get uh, that. I, 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 I love looking at pop vinyls, and I'm like, uh, if I buy one, I've, I've been really good because I'm like, if I, buy, if I bought one, then I would end up buying them all. Mm. Um, so I've been really good and not got any. So, <laughs> but I love looking at them, and they're awesome. I don't know where I, I, I put think, them. I think my new thing now is buying stuff for the podcast i've been kind of a little bit obsessed buying with stuff for the podcast like oh i need a new microphone oh i need a new camera yeah. ooh, I need a new, I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like <laughs> i need a new it's like a video trend on tiktok like by as an adult i buy this and my mom asked me what i spend with my with my money this this this, <laughs> this? that's what geek yeah. does <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's what i buy do you, do so, you have a favorite uh, promotion that you watch, or uh, besides CPW, or? Uh... Oh, um, see, I I watch like the big WWE pay per view pay per views. Um, mm. Obviously, we're all recently getting into uh, AEW because that's kind of popular. Joe's not. Joe's not. I, apparently, so. I have my moments. Like, there's certain wrestlers that get. I have to defend myself every time when I say that. Like, so do I don't get the hate and get people coming after me on social media about that. Yeah. Mad at them because they were supposed to come to the Garden through the guys and they canceled because the AEW. And I was like, how do you do that to the Garden? How do you mm. do that to Ring of Honor? That just gave you a spotlight and you kind of cut them off. So that's why I get mad. But then I give them all the credit in the world because they give the indies a, a spotlight. Mm. They bring indie wrestlers that you've never heard of to the mainstay on on t on TV, like Jungle yeah. Boy, Dar Darby like Allen, Darby's yeah. another one, MJF, right? A lot of these guys are freaking awesome, I've, and I'm just learning about them now because of AEW, which is. And then I'm, now I'm starting to learn about other wrestlers because doing the podcast, saying, I'm going to watch this wrestler. I'm going to watch this. And they're, they're all awesome. So Yeah, it's especially like when you dive into the indie scene, like even in, in the UK, and I know that there's loads in America, and it's like, and then you hear about these people, and you're like, oh my God, these people are awesome. Like these wrestlers are so good. Yeah. It's, it's have you ever like crazy. on our page and looked up the wrestlers we've ever interviewed and said, I need to follow them, I need to follow him? Um, so yeah, I've watched uh, uh, quite a few of um, your recent live podcasts, and yeah, like I just think it's, it's really cool just listening to the other people's wrestling stories and how they got into it and like what they've done with their careers, and it's. It's just, it's really cool. And especially these people that, like, you've never even heard of and, or they're from, like, another country and you're, like, it's, and, yeah, it's it's really cool. When you dive into, like, how many cool people there are out there, like, cool wrestlers that you would have never heard of and what like they're them. doing. 
I feel like oh. wrestling is like a fa- like a family. You know, you know what I mean? Like and, oh, and yeah. podcasting, podcasting. Like because every podcaster knows every podcaster, and every wrestler pretty much knows every wrestler pretty much. Yeah, definitely. It's um, it's a special passion, isn't it? Like I always think because I always um, like people that love like football or soccer, as it's called yeah. over there. Yeah. Um, like all the men in England like love football and don't get me wrong like I I like to watch it like at the pub like with my friends or whatever but I never understood that passion of like the people that watch it like every week and love it and like they love these players and I I just never got that until I got into wrestling and started watching wrestling and I was like okay well that makes sense because yeah it, it definitely becomes a lifestyle and only fans of wrestling or wrestlers understand the passion for yeah. it. 100%. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Um, well, we always talk about pets. So, you explain about your pet when you're done zipping your. There you go, the long zip. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, I have a dog. I have um, Coda. He is a um, American Staffy. And I have a barn owl called Willow. Willow. <laughs> Willow. Yeah. I was waiting for you to say that because I our mod ever so spiffy always talks about the animals and waiting for her to pop an owl in the in the chat. That's her dog in the her picture. Yeah. It's a golden doodle. She has a golden oh. doodle. Yep. I love dogs. Oh my god. I love all animals to be fair. <laughs> R- Rocky, Wait, Rocky you know, the most famous golden doodle right there. <laughs> the world knows that golden doodle's face now. <laughs> like, <laughs> we would have to somehow smuggle the gold that dog into the country so you can meet. Or if you come here, we'll have to bring you to uh, it's ever so spiffy's mom's house so you can meet have Rocky. have meat sauce, <laughs> have meat sauce, yes. and have Italian have a big Italian uh, feast at uh, ever so spiffy's house. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, oh, um, I'm trying to think what else. Oh yeah, we're we're gonna do the fun part. We're gonna do words from English, like and like our our with the way we say words to the wow. It's horrible to say this. How will we translate this? It, the words go from English to English the way we say it, and how you gonna say it? Yeah. Uh, ac- accent challenge. Yes, accent challenge. American accent versus uh, British yeah. accent. Because you know, funny when you when we were doing the the whole thing, the only uh, I made a screenshot video of when you said pancake and bastard, and I sent that video, <laughs> and he was dying. He was like, "Oh my god, how long do you guys do that?" Like we were like doing that for like an hour, right, Shorty? <laughs> a couple of hours, yeah. It was back and forth for a couple, of, a good couple of hours. It was quite, it was really fun. <laughs> I got worried because I didn't want you to be like, "This guy keeps sending me videos. I don't know what the heck he's saying." <laughs> I'm like, goddamn Americans! <laughs> like, <laughs> I, 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 I don't know if you, you probably listen. I try not to do it on the podcast, but I get so worried and geek, geek tells me, "Go be careful." I do like accents. I can do impressions, and okay. like the first yeah. time that we. Had we saw you on camera, your PBW people were like, we we came into the Facebook Live thing. Geeks are already embarrassed. We were like, <laughs> like you dudes are ringside, ha 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 ha. <laughs> like that's like a that's a tame version of the impression of the voice. It was like, dudes are ringside, <laughs> oh, oh you guys. And then Nathan's like, oh dudes are ringside, oh we be hanging out. Um, I have nothing right now. I have nothing to do with Joe, so this is. <laughs> <laughs> So whatever happens, the next, the next half, half, next half hour, it's a hundred and ten percent Joe. So who's ever listening to this, it's a hundred and ten percent Joe. So oh, I wasn't like making fun. That was like my. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't find it offensive. I just think like every time um, American people do our accent, it's so posh. Yeah. Oh hello, and like we don't we don't all talk like that. But I mean, I do. A, I can do a pretty. I uh, cut into an American accent now and then. Yeah, I remember you did well, it on the thing. We can mimic each other, it's fine. <laughs> no, I I I I I cause by doing this podcast, we get a chance we, we're introduced to different dialects 
and like mm. accents and stuff like that. So by me doing the impressions I do, I don't do them to offend or break anybody's mm. spirit and make them feel like I'm being a, a racist. I just, I, 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 my dream is to become a voice actor. Okay. And that's, I and, think you'd be really good at that. Yes, I. Joe, I can do Joe that. could do. Joe does even Italian voices too. Hey, you know what? Uh -oh. I I sometimes oh, do it. I got a little over here, a little over there. You know, it's so it's all over the place with Joe. It could be over here in British. It could be like, what are you doing? It could be Italian, and it could also be the legend Howard Finkel. You know, like I could be all over the Forget place. Forget about it. Forget about <laughs> it. You know, it's two the ringside podcast <laughs> with the metal geek. And Joe the Panther the third, you know, don't mess with Joe or the shorty. You'll be sleeping with the fishes. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Let's start this impression thing. You you say you say a word and we'll we'll try to jump it over and make it and turn it into American. Oh, uh uh oh, sorry. <laughs> Golf. You can start easy. Oh, yeah, we'll we'll now that I think of start... words. Yeah, yeah. Um, like... Uh, you, I know, look, we, you guys say trunk, like the, the trunk of the car. Yeah. And yeah. to us, we say car boot. It's the boot of the car. The, the boot of the car. The boot of the yeah. car. Yeah. And the same, like you you guys say uh, aluminum. We say al aluminum. Aluminum. Alu. <laughs> I can't even say it. Yeah. There's, there's a lot that. of things like that where I'm like. My favorite word in the British language is I like going to the bar and you guys say pub. I love that. Pub. That's what I was going to say too, the pub. You guys. I love, the, I love yeah. the word pub. I even sometimes jokingly say it here because I said something to my dad and us speaking to everybody from the UK. My words sometimes come out with the British accent out of nowhere sometimes. I'll say like, dad, I'm going to go over here. And he goes, what? And he's like, you? And I'm like, I don't know. And I didn't say it to my dad, but I thought, oh my God. <laughs> slowly become British. <laughs> so like, we say, um, like, we're going to the pub, but when you're in the pub, we do say, oh, I'm going to the bar to get a drink. So, like, where they actually serve the drinks, we do call the bar. Mm. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, I'm going to go to the pub. But mm. when you're in there, the bar is still the bar. Um, so, yes. all right. Well, think of another word, geeking. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think, think. Theater. Theater. It, it's still theater. Okay, Joe. <laughs> theater. <laughs> um, okay, grocery store. Like what I work at. The shop. The shop. The so shop. you'd be like, go to Key Food and go to the shop and have. Because uh, my grocery store, we're known for like sandwiches, fried chicken, like fun stuff like that. What about restaurants? Yeah, uh, any like grocery store, we just say, "Oh, I'm going to, I'm popping to the shop." Do you need uh, anything from the shop? Hmm. What about restaurants? Uh, yeah, they're still restaurants. Okay, it's still restaurants. <laughs> I'm so bad at this game. <laughs> Geek. Um, do you do you say guys say dogs and or cats different? Like floofs? Is that different in the uh, UK? Uh no, we still say uh, cats and dogs. I guess I I, I call them all puppers. I love oh, the puppers. Yes. Oh gosh, that's hilarious. Okay. Um. Hmm. Oh, you said football with 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 uh soccer. Do they say? Yeah. Well, different in England, or is it the same like baseball? Uh, baseball is still baseball, and then mm -hmm. we have uh, cricket as well, mm -hmm. which is some kind of similar. Yeah, yeah, it's but, a flat bat. <laughs> yeah, um, uh, baseball's not really, it's not that big over here, I guess. Mm. Um, I played like a, a bit of it in school, just like messing around, but yeah, we do more um, cricket. Than baseball. Mm. Okay, yay! <laughs> you go ahead, Joe. Oh, here we go. The thing I yell every time a wrestler messages us on the dudes at ringside page. Calendar. calendar. Sorry. Oh, calendar. 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 Yeah. Oh, calendar. Okay. 
calendar. Yeah. Okay, that's me every time so, a so pretty, much, so pretty much everything is pretty much the same. <laughs> so, so yeah, yeah say, right? I think there's just certain uh, there's certain differences. Hmm. But, yeah. I got excited. Uh, it's always the spellings that mess me up. So uh -huh. like, you don't have like color is C O L O U R, but you don't put the U in, right? Yeah, I don't think so. In color, um, yeah, and I think like. Is it like like center would be C E N T E R to use? I think so. And ours is R E. Hmm. So um, there's just slight differences. But... Baseball hmm. being well, a I think I just sound really posh. Yeah. <laughs> next to like next to the American accents, yeah. we just sound really posh. <laughs> My favorite word you said on that hey, video. Hey, hey, Brandon, what's going on, That's dude? Brandon, yeah. he's his dad does like hey, uh, he's, he's, a he's a podcaster too, right? He's a podcaster slash oh, cool. he's training yeah. to become a wrestler. So if you have any wrestling oh. advice, tell him. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, that's really cool. Right. Brandon, if you have any questions for Shorty because you're training to become a wrestler, go ahead, ask her, ask away. So, Bring like, it up. So I'm just gonna plug my um phone in really quickly so we don't die. Yeah. So if if anybody like Brandon had any like questions for you, what would you tell would you tell a person that wanted to join the wrestling business? Um I mean I think it's um hmm, it's hard because I like I haven't been around that long myself like i'm still very new to it so i'd i don't think i'm really like in a position to be like oh this that and uh, give really a, like a lot of advice um i think um training is key you got like you got to train a lot and just be open to everything that your trainer says and there's so much like i don't think people realize like there's so much more to wrestling than like your physical abilities it's like you 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 obviously like you have to be fit enough to get through a match but there's so much psychology behind it and like putting matches together and like making everything make sense and selling the story and then getting like the fans involved and invested in your story that um like that's a key part and uh, like I think like even when I started training like I didn't realize how much actually goes into becoming a wrestler like, you think like oh like I've got to, I've got to be strong and fit enough to do all these moves but there's so much that goes into it and um like there's so much more to it than that and um yeah I think it's it's all just experience and um learning it bit by bit and it, it eventually comes and you'll get there but I I yeah I advise anyone to do it I mean starting wrestling literally changed my life and who I am as a person for so many positive reasons so yeah I encourage everybody to do it and it's <laughs> oh I have yeah. a yeah he's like what's the first day of training like so if he has Ooh, any um, I guess that's it's a bit difficult because I guess Every rest, every training school will probably have like a different routine and do things differently. Um, my first day of training, I was terrified, and like as as somebody with really bad like anxiety and uh, like social anxiety, it was a lot for me to even go into the building. Um, and yeah, it, it can be quite daunting. But I always think of things as like the hardest step is always the first one. Like you think so so much about it and you overthink so much about it, what it's going to be like or like all these bad things that could happen. But when you take like taking that step, the rest is, is it just comes and you won't regret it. So I yeah. I would encourage everybody to take that first step, go to the first day of training, even though I know it's daunting. Like I was so scared and meeting all these new people and stuff, but you're all there for the same reason. 
like you all have the same passion and you're all starting this journey together and those people are going to end up being your friends through your wrestling journey and like you're all learning together at the same pace and at the same time and it becomes a really beautiful experience um that like a few months from then you're like oh my god like I'm so glad that I did this so yeah just go in take everything head on and you're going to meet friends for life pretty much and it will be hopefully beautiful for you as it was for me awesome uh, our buddy uh what under the chat says if you had to choose between wrestling football or art which would it be now he's trying to be the heel now <laughs> the <podcast. laughs> um wrestling wrestling yeah like uh, um obviously i've been doing music for a long time um that's another like it's they're, they're all just creative ways of me to express myself um and i've been making music for a long time and wrestling has taken over my entire life which is absolutely fine by me <laughs> live sleep eat breathe wrestling um art i i've always been into drawing so i did like gcse gra graphic design or whatever and art at school and then it's only recently that i've started like drawing again which is really fun and i absolutely love it and you know like i've turned it into like a little business which is great but nothing gives me the adrenaline or the love and the passion and the feeling as when i get into that ring as a wrestler mm. What, See, if we're ever looking for a new logo or anything, we definitely will hit you up for new. Oh, yeah. new hit we are, logos, whatever you don't need. You've seen so many of our versions of our logos in the videos we post. We we're always looking for an other alternate logo to add to that video collection. We'll let you know. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, Hell yeah. That's, I'll be down. That's, that's something that we always we striving, even though we have so many different logos. Like that's us to the little the guys yeah. in the background that's us you know what i mean we're yeah mm -hmm. it's it we're even thinking of we're trying to get it do a logo that has the different flags because we're not just known in america we're internationally known like we're right now now yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah yeah internationally known thanks to you guys and cpw still like, internationally yeah known. i said it before and i'll say it again thank you guys from the bottom of our hearts, thank you guys for giving us the like the support and taking the time out of your days. We know we're separate time zones, yeah. but we all feel on the same. We're all, we're all in the same family now. That yeah. wrestling is our key and our go to thing when we're sad, and we know that we know how we connect. We're all yeah. family, and that's why Geek always goes, oh, oh, but knowing we're on separate time zones, now we and Geek are learning how to tell what time not to message you guys so we you don't like come at us like hornets. No, like, no, you're you're, <laughs> you're you're learning. Joe's learning more because I'm, I'm learning. I'm, learning. I'm, I'm the one that's screaming at Joe. I'm like, Joe, do you I'm know okay. what time it is? <laughs> I mean, I'm uh I'm quite the night owl to get the figure for pun anyway so uh i'm usually up quite late so it doesn't really bother me but yeah yeah <laughs> and it's funny i when me and you started talking on my own instagram page joe panther the third you guys should definitely go check it out and follow me like it was funny to speak to a wrestler not with my page my dudes at ringside page and just connect with you on a level of a almost like friendship that we talk yeah. with each other, sending us sending each other the voice thing and like talking about relationships, things and how, yeah. I should, you know, don't worry about her. You're fine. You're a good person and stuff like that. And we talk about animals and sports. So when they, we'll have to, have to start talking about sports. And now we've talked about maybe doing a watch along with you when we're not doing a live. That's oh, even yeah. more yeah. cooler thing. Yeah. So, yeah, um, yeah. I don't think what else we could, we could talk about because it's sort of late by who, you. Who, who, who has been your biggest rival? You say in CPW. 
Oh, um, so so far I've had uh two main feuds. Um, so when I started, me and um Emma Cross from CPW, we had a big rivalry, and um again we had our match last night. Um, and then me and Kat Von Cage had a very long rivalry for the women's championship. You get, we tried you to get Kat, but she was busy. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry? Yeah, but, uh, you, you, you cock, then I'll say something. I'm no, glad, Joe. You cut me out. We tried to get Kat, but she's... Yeah, she's very, she's really busy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, good, Joe. Oh, here you go, Geek. I, I talked enough for now. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, we're going to talk about – Joe's going to kill me, though, but we would love – and I talked this about Joe. We would love for you guys, CPW, to actually come to America one day during WrestleMania, which would be awesome. I know it's a big step, but – Yeah. Uh, because, you know, international and everything, but – CPW during WrestleMania weekend will be actually awesome. Oh gosh, <laughs> yeah, yeah that, that would be incredible. We and we know you like to eat food, Shorty, because we always talk about food, me and you. So, what would you say legitimately would be like your favorite food? Oh, that's really hard because I love all food. Um, <laughs> hmm. I'm I'm on a sushi cra like craze at the minute. Ooh, love sushi. Yeah. Uh, so at the at the minute, I'm a little bit obsessed with sushi. Mm. So in Texas, they're known for like like ribs. Is it ribs or steak? Bar they bar barbecue. It's like anything barbecue they love over down there. Oh, I steak. love barbecue ribs. <laughs> Me too. We can hang out and eat that all day. Beer. Yeah, and so, so, now so now I'm hungry. Oh, God. that's so what happens. Our, so our plan for is for our next big show. We're going to go to WrestleMania, me and Joe. I'm yeah. trying to convince him, but you know, I want to we'll go, but I'm like, we'll see what happens. I've been saving my money. I could probably do that. I could pull it out. I've been, it. Yeah, I've been trying to oh, convince yeah. him. WrestleMania is going to be the next big show, right there. So, oh my gosh, Shorty, that oh, that's how we could all meet. Maybe you could plan a trip, a holiday to come to Texas and buy a trip, buy a ticket for WrestleMania, and we'll find out where you're sitting. We could hang out. Uh, we could definitely look into it. Yeah. There we go, Geek. There you go, Joe. There's your reason to go to WrestleMania now. <laughs> my, my wrestling bestie. My new wrestling bestie, Shorty. Oh, yeah. yeah. And we, I mean, I've always wanted to go to Mania. But... You've you never Mania. been to Mania? It's never. Never. Gosh. WrestleMania is one big party. It's like yeah, I, every single – it's like not just one show for WrestleMania. There's like a whole million shows for WrestleMania. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and also you could be you could tell people about your merch. Like you don't have anything yet, but like like you could tell our fans uh yeah. how right now do you have any like thing you want to plug, like your uh of eight by tens or anything? Um, so I'm I'm currently working on all of that. Uh, it's not officially out yet, but mm. I'm hoping it will be very soon, and they will be on all my socials at Shorty UK. So mm -hmm. keep an eye out. Mm. <laughs> is there is there any sh upcoming shows that you want to plug also? Um, I'm not sure if we have any like pay per view shows for so um any other people can watch. Um, but I we have a CPW show in Coventry, England on the 2nd of October and then another one on the 16th of October which is where I will be facing Carrie for our um, CPW Young Lioness Championship. That's awesome yes. because I, and I've noticed that CPW is the uh, and well you correct me if I'm wrong is the only uh, the only one the only promotion that has two women's championships. Um, I'm actually not this. sure about that. Um, we actually have three at the moment. So we have the Young Lioness Championship, the oh, CPW three. Women's Championship, and then the CPW um, Lineal Women's Championship. But then we also have the Galaxy Championship, which wow. is 
unisex, so that's intergender, so a man or a male or female can hold that one. Wow. So okay. at the minute, um, Chantal Jordan holds that championship. So <laughs> there's, we have three, but technically four, like three and a half. Mm-hmm. So, you guys have a tag, yeah. you have a tag, you have a tag belt, or uh, you guys have a tag belt? Um, or, uh... No, not at the moment. But uh, I'm hoping that we um, get one of them sometime soon. That that would be awesome. So. Yeah. Yeah. Joe? So. If- if you have to go, Shorty, we totally understand because we know it's like uh, it's half eight, yeah. Okay, we 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 worry because you don't want you to be like these guys have me stay up so late. I'm so tired. <laughs> it's cool. We can still go if you want. Okay, well, we always do that with the guests because, as you as you know, we're easy going, we're, yeah. we're mellow and stuff like that. So. How is it over there in 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 England? Are they have they like had full capacity for shows, or is it still like like half capacity? Um, I I'm not a hundred percent sure. Um, I I think uh, because we've had quite a lot of um like uh, big football soccer matches um that have had like quite a lot of people in the stadiums, so. I'm not 100% sure on that one. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm hoping we're towards the end of this madness and that we're at 100%. Yeah, that's how, it is in, that's how it is in America right now. It's like we're, yeah. we're pretty much out of the woods, but there's always that uncertainty that we go back on lockdown, you know? And yeah. Because uh, they're saying it's getting pretty bad. But, I mean, I think as long as we all have masks and we had the vaccine, I guess everybody's fine. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Trying to... Oh, we, we also uh, talk about pizza here all the time, Shorty. What's your favorite type of pizza? Ooh, another hard question. Um, I typically go for all of the meats and oh, barbecue base. Oh, like meat, like pretty much what they were call in America, meat pie. Oh yeah, oh a pizza pie. <laughs> they call it meat pizza. It has like, is that my saying right, geek? It's like a meat, a meat, meat pizza. Uh, meat meat pizza, pizza. Yeah. It has like bacon. It has, even though I get kind of mad, I'm like, can you put American bacon on there and not Canadian bacon? Because it's like ham. If you already have ham on there, why would you put ham twice? <laughs> it's so nice. Right. You can uh, ask. We have, we have like, uh, we call it like a meat feast, Ooh. Um, and then we get. Like you can get like barbecue base, which is typically my favorite. So you get like barbecue sauce and then with all the meats on. Yeah, I saw that on your story. I was like, what kind of sauce? I saw that that time when I wrote it. I was like, what kind of sauce is that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm while I'm walking around the town, I do laundry in it. I was like, what kind of sauce is that? <laughs> Question. <laughs> oh, well, that was a Domino's pizza. So you have oh. Domino's over there, right? You have Domino's, yeah. Domino's, yeah. John's. Yeah. Yeah, this as well. Do you have any stories from training or from the ring or that you could tell? Um, hmm. I can't think of anything off, too like crazy off the top of my head, mm-hmm. to be honest. Um, I don't know. <laughs> hmm. Joe? Your friend, your friend was messaging the dudes at ringside page, <laughs> Lauren, Lauren, <laughs> Lauren, yeah, Lauren, yeah. She was messaging the page. I, I told her about me being the third generation. I sent her a picture of my grandfather, my cousins. I'm like this, 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 <laughs> and she liked it. Oh. As she said, with the um, the training, like, do you have like, do you guys travel around with CPW or do you stay in the si- same uh, stay in the city? Yeah, so we stay in Coventry. Okay. Yeah. I mean, we have um, different venues around the city, but um, I mean, we've done shows in uh, Leicester, which is another city outside of Coventry. We usually do the uh, summer shows there. Um, uh, pretty like much, said, yeah. Like I said earlier, fingers crossed for CPW America. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. God. I'm passing for that. <laughs> Oh, you know, Geek and I, you have to tell us if we're in Texas, guys, I'm in Texas. Or even if you don't, 
and WrestleMania happens and you can manage to grab a ticket, if I go with Geek, please tell us. We want I want to meet you in person and hang out with you and have pizza and hey, do fun stuff in Texas with you. And like we could just chill and hang out and drink beers and just shoot the shit and talk about wrestling and I'll in, oh, we'll yeah. introduce you. Shorty, you thought you you had met these two guys in America and be like, have two friend fan, friendly fans in America. Trust me, you meet you'll I will introduce you to the wrestling family. We'll introduce you to all our podcast friends. Yeah. And yeah. the wrestlers that we know will have you meet everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Be like oh, a show, yeah. like a meet and greet day. <laughs> for and likewise, if you guys ever come over here, we'll have a CPW party. Oh, so gosh. I can't wait. <laughs> that to be, I, I'm looking forward to that because I in November we have Nathan, and I can't wait to hear his stories. And oh, hear- Nathan has so many stories. <laughs> he could just yeah. he could just talk Nathan if he wants to he could take over the whole show and just talk. You tell him that <laughs> when you next mm-hmm. tell him Joe and Geek says we don't have Nathan to ask. Will. He will. He has it, so many stories. Uh, yeah, he's, it, he's been doing it's this not for just a long pla- time. Sorry, it's not just our platform; it's their platform as well. So yeah. Mm. Do, yep. So, yeah, okay. I mean. Like before, like the pandemic, I never knew about CPW, but I don't. The only, it's the only two like promotions I knew in the UK were were uh Rev Pro and Progress, and then Progress is kind of now with WWE. So I'm like, yeah, so I really hope that the UK scene gets a little bit bigger after. Oh, it's gonna because there, there, because... there is another promotion that I don't know if you ever heard of, uh, Shorty. It's called UK Wrestling. Yeah, there is actually quite a few in the UK. A there's, a yeah. there's a lot of them, yeah. I, I haven't ventured out to them yet, um, but there is a lot. Yeah. Which there's, I mean, there's, there's like quite that. a few like American ones as well. So There's a ton of American promotions. Yeah. One I saw when we had um, Annabelle, the let off British Wrestler Week, her promotion she's part of is uk ba- i think it's called batrix was it Batrix? Batrix has like a viking logo like the logo looks like a female viking the hair and the, the horns and everything i was like it's yeah. like i think we keep, we keep we keep we keep we keep hitting gold man like we hit all huh. these different british promotions man i keep saying we got the t-shirt from that promotion from miami and i was like we need to start i need to get a bigger set like have just we need a t-shirt. definitely a bigger shirt set because we're gonna start getting more and more shirts. Gonna start running out of room for all these t-shirts. And <laughs> As I said, Geek and I wanna... totally rock a CPW shirt, and we wanna we wanna add to our CPW family love by you know see our shorty sh- my little Alfie shirt. We need a shorty shirt to add like right over here in the background. Here, here. The... When you get your shirts, please send. You, you say you have hats. I'd put a yeah. hat. I'd put a hat in the background. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so um, I'm going to have hats, I'm going to have t-shirts, I'm going to have hoodies. Yeah. I'll, yeah. We'll sort it out, don't worry. Yeah. 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 You're, you're, you'll surprise us. <laughs> 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 um, do, you, do you watch anything on, like, any shows on Netflix or Hulu that uh, you've been catching up on? Um, I love Rick and Morty. <laughs> oh, <laughs> best friends. Are you yeah. gonna take over the message yeah. now? No, my girl, my girlfriend's gonna take over the whole entire board now. She's like, oh, I got him into it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, she got. She did. <laughs> I'm like, what is this show? And then I watched a whole marathon of like all the DVDs, and I was like, this is the funniest show I've ever seen. <laughs> How are you? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if Joe's seen the whole thing yet. Have you seen the whole thing? No, I just stopped because my sister came for like something she came over for my twin, and we stopped. We started watching. I think what we got up to, we stopped, and then I got to get back to it. Oh gosh, ever so she's like, I love your hoodie. She wants a hoodie now. Uh, yeah, she wants a hoodie very soon. Yeah. Very <laughs> soon. Very soon. She'll send you. She'll send you one, Spiffy. Don't worry. She won't forget you. She's part of the team. Oh, she's, our, she's the mod. She keeps yeah. all the bad guys away. <laughs> yeah, the bad people out of the chat. I try. I try. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it should be fun. Like, oh, 
have any has fa have fans ever given you like gifts like you know, like bears or something that looks like you or some like that or drawings? There she goes. Um, I've had uh like um posters made. I say like we love shorty with like a bumblebee on because black and yellow. Yeah, and uh, that was pretty awesome. And um, I've been sent flowers. Um. So yeah, yeah. Fun. The fans are awesome. I, I literally can't fault them. And um, I had a guy uh, yesterday show up to the show with uh, a hoodie with my logo on to um, support me, which was really awesome. I'm gonna work on that now. I'm gonna go find. I'm gonna be like those guys that make the pops out of the random people. I gotta look for a pop of a female wrestler, and I'm gonna if I can get it and not mess up and screw it up. I'm going to try to see if I can make one of you. <laughs> if I can, I'll send it to you. If I could do it. Oh, my God. That would be amazing. A shorty pop. A <laughs> shorty pop. Short pop. Short pop. Short pop. <laughs> I, want, I want to make one of me and Geek. I've been, like, dying yes. to make yeah. one of me and Geek. If, we could, if, if I can manage to make one of myself, I'll make one of you and make one of Geek, and I'll, wake, I'll, I'll send all three. If, I could, if it doesn't cost me a billion dollars to send it to, the, to England. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think it's um, actually that much for our shipping prices. I, mean, mm -hmm. I think it that depends. Was, that was the one thing I got worried about when Alfie sent us the T-shirt. I, cause she said, I'll send you a t-shirt. And then I sent it the, I don't know, emoji, like sticker for a t-shirt, a piece of yeah. tape with our faces on it for a cloth that you could wear anytime, any, any day you want. She knows, she, she knows what she's doing. She knew what she was doing. Alfie's a smarty. <laughs> <laughs> Alfie's a smarty. Yeah. Uh, she's like, oh, wow. These two American boys are going to be wearing my shirt around. So I had there a little girl, I had a little girl in the farmer's market. I went to go. So I'm like, oh, that's cool. The mom's like, oh, wow, Alfie, who's the siren of the spear? And it's like right there, her name's Alfie. And she's like, "Where is she in WWE or something? I said, no, she's in a promotion in Long London, England called CPW. And she's like, Coventry. Oh, Coventry, sure. Coventry, England. I say, Coventry. I say, I say CPW. None all live in London. <laughs> yeah. I get, now I, know, now I know what to tell them, Shorty. Coventry, England. Like, Coventry, England. Is it is it like a big city, Coventry, or is it like? Is no, it's like it, it, it's quite small, like relatively mm. to the other cities. I I think it's quite small. Mm. It's like my town that I live in in Pennsylvania that I told you about. One light. Yeah. One light. It's <laughs> one light. <laughs> um, no, okay, we have a couple more lights. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> couple Coventry, more. Is it, is it more like a town, or is it uh? Because we have city, yeah. yeah, it's a city. city. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. Because when, when we think it's of, quite busy, busy city. Because when we th have cities, we think uh, in America, those are like big buildings. Mm. That's what we have. That's what like. But if you live in like the state, it's like just that's like something different. Yeah. So we have um we have the cities. Oh wow. That have, like, that. Quite busy towns, and then uh, we have like countryside, which is like well, like the farms and things like that, like so, outside so of Coventry. So if, you, so if you refer to like New York City, that's like with the big skyscrapers, and Chicago has the big skyscrapers. Miami, those yeah. are like those are big cities. But if you say just say New York, New York State, that's like just regular, you know, towns and stuff like that. So yeah. It's more so, like that. we're definitely we're not as big as um, like American cities. Uh, uh, <laughs> um, yeah. Obviously, like London's quite big, but uh, we're Coventry is very small. So I don't know if you know, like, I've heard of like Birmingham. Yeah, um, I heard Birmingham. Yeah. Yeah. So we're Coventry is not that far from Birmingham. So um, we're kind of just small compared to the bigger ones. <laughs> Okay. Oh, here we go. I always do this for all the wrestlers, and you heard me do the subtle Howard Finkel from the WWF. -E. I'm going to do. Would you mind if I how if I did my Howard Finkel for you? So it's Coventry, England. You said Coventry, England. 
Okay. Yeah. Do you know who Howard Finkel is, by the way, Shorty? No. Oh, Howard Finkel is the old ring announcer from the WWF that like was like. Oh like, yeah, yeah. Okay. The, the, as I say, everybody says with the mustache, I have the Howard Finkel look because I'm. I'm, I'm bad at names. Yes. Well, here we go. <clears throat> Coming down the aisle from Coventry, England. This is Shorty. <laughs> Amazing. Yep. I've had big, giant wrestlers from Texas stop in their tracks going, Wow, you made me nervous. I mean, you gave me chills, dude. You gave me chills. That was really cool. That's my trademark, the Fink. I try not to do it so much because it takes up a lot of the interview. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now the world knows I do that voice. Man, I hope Howard Finkel's kids don't sue me. <laughs> <laughs> Copyright. Oh, geez. You just don't. That, that, was, that was the big thing of the uh, the podcast. I said to Joe, I'm like, we should, Joe was like, we should try to get Shorty Music to, on the podcast. I'm like, I don't know. I, I don't know if she owns the rights to it or or uh, the record well, label. Or uh, I do. Uh, I I own the rights to all my music. So. Oh. Uh, so you yeah, can we, play weren't, you we weren't. On, I won't sue you. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's Yay. for next time, though, right? <laughs> yeah. The next. Actually, you're coming back in October. You're. You're. We have you on two dates. The today and then October. I think it's October. No. Oh yeah. Yeah, so hopefully you'll I'll be a champion by then. Oh, oh please. please. Actually, here we go. Fingers crossed. Pinky swear. If you win the title, we're all pinky <laughs> swear together. If you win the belt, please please take your phone and have one of the people that's near you and take a picture of you with the title and send it to us so we can oh, yeah. celebrate together and we'll post it and tell our fans that you did it. You won the title. And we will <laughs> CPW, yeah. if you're listening, Shorty needs to be the champion. She needs her belt back. If you're baby, listening to this baby back. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. That belt's green, I'm right? Coming for a mall, it's fine. That belt's green, right? Uh the Galaxy Champion is, is championship is green. Um yeah, but the the one I'm going for is the CPW Young Lioness Championship, which mm. I haven't held yet. So. Mm, there you go. There you go. And hint, 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 CBW, hint, hint. We will see. She's banging at the door with both hands. <laughs> Coming for would, your belt, would, Anna. Would, would you like to have her compete in a ladder match or? Uh... Uh, it's definitely on my bucket list, but. Or. That, that stuff's wild. But yeah, definitely. I want to do a ladder match, Cade match. I Yeah, I want to do it all at some point. Mm -hmm. You gotta ask Alfie. You know, Alfie's the queen of matches. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta ask her for advice. <laughs> yeah. Yes, definitely. She knows, she knows all the all the tricks. <laughs> all those matches, yeah. like we were like telling her, like, I will say this to you. Like, is there any like matches or spots that you would be like, nah, be good. I can't do that. I'm not taking that. I'm not taking that. <laughs> no. No, is isn't a match that you would be like, no, if the promoter said it, we're gonna do this. No, nope. like, nothing. No, nope. wow. I, I, yeah, I, I'll try anything once, mm. twice to be sure. See if I survive. Yeah, there's a, <laughs> the American female wrestlers all have that same thing. Like, if you ask them, do you want to do a death match? They're like, no. I would love to do a death match. Wow, there we wow. go. There it yeah. is. Uh oh, CBW, like, CBW yeah. might be listening, so you you never know. I hope they listened. <laughs> I'd love to have them help us because I tagged them into the post today on Instagram on the top, and I'm like, with the Alfie one, they posted it, and then I had to backtrack because it wasn't live. So I was like, uh -huh. they posted it now. <laughs> Gulp. <laughs> um. No, I yeah, I I won't shy away from anything. I because that would be like the next question I was going to ask. Which would which was be the worst, thumbtacks or Legos? Um, I haven't taken either yet. Oh, but I would try both. Oh wow! I, another yeah, person for I mean, yeah. I I'm I don't I'm I'm quite I'm an uh, adrenaline junkie. I. Uh, yeah. 
I love the rush. I'm not really, I'm not scared of any pain or um, anything like that. So, yeah. The, the I'll give person. it a go. So if, if you came to America and you went to a promotion, like, was it GCW? And they said, G we want you to take on the champion and all. Is it GCW, Geek? G GCW is the hardcore promotion. Yeah, they, if you came to America and went to GCW and they had you do the a hardcore match, like a really like barbed wire, you wouldn't be like, I don't I'm know. Nope. You would do it. Wow. Yep. Even, even with hard. the light tube, even with the light tubes and everything, or are you saying nah, yep. that? Uh, oh, she, wow. Light she, light she, light she, wow. She's, she's <laughs> Good. Oh, if GCW is listening, <laughs> we, have, we have your first ever British wrestler to come in and destroy it, take the belt from everybody. <laughs> Nick Gage, watch out. <laughs> Nick Gage. No, um, nothing scares me. I'm. I'm not. I'm not scared of getting hurt. It. It doesn't. I'm. I've got re a really high pain tolerance. So, like I said, I'll try anything once. Oh Don't wow. Hmm. Now we, know, we know Nick Gage. Be careful! That, yeah, the shorty is coming from UK, and she's gonna take your belt. <laughs> she's dangerous. <laughs> shorty hardcore. Hashtag Shorty hardcore now. <laughs> now now, now, okay. uh, now CPL is gonna be listening to this and be like, "Okay, you want to do a hardcore match? We'll put you in one." <laughs> put you against Alfie. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, yeah, me and Alfie in a hardcore match would be insane. <laughs> if we could see it, if you could do that match and they could send it to us and we could watch and we could do a watch watch along just for that match, I'd be I'd be elated. I'd be so happy. I'll be like, oh my god, just one match we could watch and not have to get in trouble. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, that would that would be crazy. We we really want to see if CPW could not sponsor us, but just like like let like you could send us the cards for the paper your pay-per-views or the poster that has all the different matches on it we yeah. will be what do they call it geek uh like what? like we did for SummerSlam and stuff like that watch party like, right like a watch party or we'll do a um a prediction show like that you guys do we'll do our oh, own yeah. Show. yeah 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 we could we, we could do a prediction show for even though it's not an american based pay-per-view we could do a prediction show and then pre-record it and mm. we, we can invite you in like the day before the pay-per-view and we'll have you and have your opponent come on and we'll do like a like a mean gene oakland thing we'll interview you and then ask the opponent what do you, how you feel about it you know what i mean like that yeah that'd be really cool yeah uh -huh. That's, like as i told geek we don't want to be connected to one promotion but having cpw on our side in England and we're in America that helps you guys get fans over here. Like I did it on my Instagram, my, my Facebook. I found a yeah. page. I invited half my friends to follow them. Is uh CPW open to doing uh interpromotional matches or uh what do you mean? Like like for example, somebody from one promotion and then they wrestle on someone from another. Would CPW oh, be yeah, definitely. Yeah. So um a lot of the people that we bring in also wrestle at other promotions. Like Alfie wrestles at other promotions as well. So that's cool though. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So so it's not just like one like you're if you're in CPW, you're just not like in CPW, you could wrestle anywhere, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, much. okay. Yeah. And um so, uh, yeah, we bring in quite a lot of people from other promotions. That yeah. too, like wrestlers, like I said, like Alfie. A lot of the females wrestle elsewhere as well, or like aren't just like CPW homegrown, like me and Emma are. So, yeah, gotcha. that's yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. I got I got nothing out for uh, nothing else for our, our buddy here, Shorty. So but we thank you so much for coming. We want you to come back on the podcast. So hopefully next time you come back, you have the belt. You know. Hopefully, but yeah, I'll I'll come back on whenever you want me. Absolutely. All right. All right. I gotta go because I have to go eat dinner. Thank you so much, Shorty. Thank you Keep so much. Send it off to you. I'll see Thank you later, you. friends. Thank Thanks. you for having me. No problem. Right. Later. Bye. Peace out. All right. All right. I gotta see. Bye. Yep. Good night, everybody, and see you Monday. <laughs>